Hey everyone, this is for my Oakland, California viewers. I just came from the Oakland City Council where the council voted 7 to 1 to pay the California Highway Patrol $162,000, which would bring five patrol cars, two officers each, twice a week to Oakland over a 60 day period, and also two supervisory sergeants in one additional car again twice a week over this 60-day period. And you might be asking who was the dissenting vote and that was brand new District 3 Oakland Council member Lynette Gibson McElhaney. So I sat down to talk with both Councilmember McElhaney and also Councilmember Libby Schaff District 4 about the vote although I should say that Councilmember McElhaney didn't really want to talk about that, so we talked more about her experience and how things are going as in her first term as council member so far. And then council member Schaff directly dealt with the question regarding tonight's vote and the need for more police officers in Oakland. And we also talked, I talked with both council members about the crime problem in Oakland and my personal feeling that I've never seen a time in Oakland where I felt more uncomfortable to be here because there's so much violent crime. Robberies that aren't even covered by the media, like at 7-Eleven last Friday night. It's awful. Just plain terrible. At any rate, enough of me. And here are council members Schaff first as the veteran, and then council member Gibson McElhaney as the new one. District 4 and District 3 respectively. And for those of you who don't know, District 4 is in the Oakland Hills, District 3 is West Oakland and downtown and parts of Lake Merritt and Grand Avenue. With Councilmember Libby Schaaf, District 4, my good friend, and Libby, let's cut to the chase. What happened tonight with that vote? Were you satisfied? Where would we go from here? You know? Well, Oakland is a public safety crisis. We have the lowest police staffing that we've had for decades. So um, continuing the successful partnership with the CHP was a critical move, and I'm very glad that the item passed. Uh, is there anything in the deliberations that was confusing to you or maybe some other council members didn't quite get it or just uh... you know, um, public discourse is always good I think council members raise perfectly legitimate questions about kind of having a comprehensive approach having a long-term plan thinking about um, whether these types of decisions are financially uh, responsible and again I feel like I've done my homework and feel very good about the financial decision in fact think that it's financially responsible for us to not invest in trying to bring down the crime rate immediately, uh, and that we did see unexpected revenues last year that really justify these types of additional expenditures. But these are good questions. It's good dialogue. The city needs, needs to keep having um, just robust discussions about how to make this city safer. Nothing is more important. And last question, out of fairness, since I asked Council Member um, Gibson McElhaney. Yeah, Captain McElhaney. I was about to say, um, I was about to say, remember Marge Gibson Hassel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lynette, but that's what happened. You were here for too long. Right? <laughs> right? Wow, wow. Uh, this is what I asked her. I have never, in all the years of I've been in Oakland, felt such disappointment, danger, and ennui. Why should I stay in Oakland? That's exactly the same question I asked her. I know, I know. And these are scary times. I mean, crimes that we used to think were really just property crimes are really feeling violent. Um, I had uh, in Redwood Heights just last weekend a burglary where the burglars surprised people at home and shot them in their home. What? And it is, uh. <laughs> it is just a horrible, horrible thing where the place that is your sanctuary, where your family sleeps at night, when that becomes a place that is no longer safe to you, um, that is a horrible crime. Um, so my answer to you is Oakland is worth it. Oakland is worth fighting for. And you know, Zenny, we yeah, have yeah. so yeah. many great things yeah. going for us. Yeah. And we will come through this. We have a good plan in place. We are going in the right direction. We've already taken 
all sorts of actions that while you're not seeing the fruit of them right now, they're in place and they are going to start yielding results very soon. And just like tonight, this um, contract uh, to continue the support from the CHP is part of that. So um, I do believe that the leadership is much more unified than it was last year, for example, and that we are going to get this city to a safe place. Thank you so much. Councilmember McElhaney, how are you enjoying your first term? Love it. Yeah, and it's absolutely wonderful. What, what has surprised you the most thus far? I think the level of shootings in the city have been really the thing that has most surprised me. When I was on the stump, I really talked a lot more about the economic development need, and I did not look or wasn't quite as aware of the number of shootings, because we were really looking at the level of homicides, but now getting alerts every time someone is shot non-fatally in the city, we, we we have a gun challenge. What do you think of the Yoke Alarm Rumble shooting? Um, I don't know that I would call it the Oakland Art Murmur shooting, mm -hmm. for one. Okay. I believe <laughs> the, the, the death of Keontae Campbell is representative and endematic of what's going on in our city with our young men. And I don't see Keontae's death as separate and apart from a continuum of violence that I was just sharing with you. So some of you would ask, what do, we, what do you want to see done about it? What do we do? The same thing that we need to do about every loss of life in this city. The reason why the Save Oakland Coalition, the Soldiers Against Violence Everywhere, are on the block every Saturday, saying that every life matters. We've got to get the guns off the street. We have to get a police force that is equipped to be effective. We need to arrest and prosecute shooters. And people need to understand that this is not the wild, wild west and that gun violence is no longer tolerated in this city. I'm going to ask you something that's been going through my head. I've been here since 1974 and I have never felt a level of violence and in, in Oakland like I feel this year. Why should I stay in Oakland? I believe we stay in Oakland because we love Oakland because we are people who care deeply about community and that we uh, do not abandon the beauty of this place because we give up on the fact that we're dealing with some difficult times. The challenges that Oakland face are not unique to Oakland. I believe that the president, Newtown, showed us that there's some federal policies that have changed. What uh, our representatives Nancy Skinner and Rob Bonta in the assembly are doing with AB 48 to restore sanity to the sale of ammunition. Uh, some folks don't get that we used to have those protections around ammo sales mm -hmm. and then they were removed at the federal level. I think uh, Assemblyman Bruce Skinner said that that happened about 20 years ago. So we understand that policies matter and so we in Oakland commit ourselves to having sane government. And this isn't about big government, right? It's about effective governance with, with appropriate regulation so that we do the first thing that government should do, which is to protect. You have to protect me before you can serve me. So it should not be a free for all for profits by any means. And I believe that this city has undertaken some significant steps, both in terms of our investment portfolio and strategy. We are saying something to this nation and to our Congress to get it right so that we're not dealing with these things. These guns that are in Oakland didn't come from Oakland. We don't sell them here. They're coming across our borders. Uh, I want our state troopers to do a more effective job at stopping contraband at the borders. So. But anyways, we stay in Oakland because there's so much more beauty here than there are challenges. And we know that if we work together, we can address those challenges. How do we contact you at your office? Oh, that's fantastic. 510-238-7003. Um, Oaklandnet.com is the website for the city. And we're here at Franco Gawa Plaza. My staff is here. We're, we're here. We're a fully functioning team. I am truly excited. This city is so full of love and so full of awesomeness. And the projects that we get to deal with in terms of downtown redevelopment, uh, 
the preservation and expansion of First Fridays and the art murmur, the celebration of the arts community, you know, maintaining our sports teams, I, you know, the opening of new restaurants and the finally the development of the Army base. I mean, there are so many good things. I like to say everything that's happening good is happening in District mm -hmm. 3. Right. Yeah. And then we have to deal with the issue of safety. Thanks so much.